Hello, my name is Aman Sharma and I am your mentor for CSC at Europedia. So today the video is about DRDO interview. So what type of questions that you can uh, expect in uh, DRDO interview. So what they normally do is they will ask you some basic questions. And if you are not able to answer those questions, they will keep on asking you basic level questions. And if you are able to answer that question, they will just level up and they will ask you uh, harder question. And if you are able to answer that also, they will again level up and uh, ask you even, even harder question. So by doing this, they will be checking your level. So if they ask you some question, then they will di uh, uh, dive deep into that question that like uh, if you do this, then what? If you are able to answer that, then they will give you another condition that uh, if uh, there is one more condition in this, then what will you do? So they will uh, do this to uh, check the knowledge and your uh, concept clarity of the subject and how much you know about uh, the subject in depth. So let's uh, try some of these questions. These are these questions are, are from same concept and we, we, uh, we will be diving deep into the concept in order to see how the interview, uh, uh, how the interview questions in DRDO work. So the first question here is find cycle in the linked list using brute force. So they are asking, it's a very, very basic question. You don't have to apply any algorithm. They are just asking, just apply brute force and uh, tell us whether the linked list has uh, some cycle or not. So by using brute force, brute force is like hit and trial that you will just do anything to solve the question without any proper, proper approach. Let's say that this is the linked list. Now the brute force is, take the address of this one <coughs> and compare it with everyone if you uh, you get an address which is similar to uh, similar to the address of some other uh, some other node then uh, you can say that there is a cycle in this case there will be no address similar to this when you traverse this linked list for this also there will be no such case for this also there will be no such case but when you reach here and you comp and you traverse the uh, link list when you come back to this point this will have if let's say that it has 2000 address and you traverse this then the next address will be 3000 after that 4000 after that 5000 and after that the result will be equal to the similar uh, similar uh, node that you have taken so this way you can say that there is a cycle in this link list it's, it's a very basic question so now next is let's say that problem with this solution. What is the problem with this solution? Now problem with this brute force method is when you take this node, it will come back to this point. But if you are comparing the address of this node and if you don't know the length of the linked list, when you enter the loop, it will go into the infinite loop because it will just keep on traversing and keep on roaming around the circle. So you will not get any address which is equal to this. Then uh, you may think that there is no uh, cycle in the linked list, but there is cycle, but you have not selected the address which was present in the cycle. So this is the problem with it that it, it may go to uh, in an infinite loop when you, when you are selecting a node which is not present in the cycle. So let's say that you have answered these two also. Now after that, let's dive deep into this concept now use now find the cycle using sorting techniques now this uh, let's say that this is their next question now you have to think about this let's say now what is the solution for this is let's say this is the linked list addresses are 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on so using sorting techniques now what you can do here is just traverse the linked list and put it the put the addresses in in this way let's uh, let's do one thing let's not put the addresses in ascending order so let's Put the addresses as you go and traverse the linked list. So 2, 1, 4, 5, 3, 6, 4, 5, 3, 6. Now, to, in order to uh, traverse the linked list, now uh, the time, uh, time complexity for this to traverse will be order of n. Now when you 
uh, when you sort this, let's say that time complexity for sorting is n log n, the resulting array will look like this 1, 2, 4, 3, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4. After that, sorry, uh, after 3 is being uh, repeated again and again, so let's say that it looks like this. Now, whenever you find two elements in the array with same address, you can say that there was a cycle in this because if there is a cycle, then, uh, then, all, then only there is a possibility that the two, uh, the two nodes will have same address. So, you can do this, uh, you, uh, do this by sorting techniques. But again, there is an issue here. The issue is what? If you don't have the size of the linked list, it will go into the infinite loop and the traversing will not be completed it will not be over it will keep on traversing and you will not know when to stop and when to not stop so again same issue if uh, if you don't know the size of the linked list it will go into the infinite loop so this is also uh, a method but there is a flaw in this now let's say that you have answered this question after that the next question could be find the cycle using hash table now how you can find the cycle using the hash table now let's build a hash table with very large number of slots the slot size is very large and we are assuming that the size the number of slots in the uh, in the hash table is greater than the number of nodes in the linked list so let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the slots are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and so on so when you do this one when you uh, uh, when you uh, traverse this and you take the address of this one and put it in the hash table let's say you put it here after that 2 will come here 3 will come here 4 will come here 5 will come here 6 will come here when you come back to 3 and you apply the mod function or the hash function for this there will be a collision here and as soon as there is a collision you can tell that that node has been repeated because i have said it already the number of nodes in the linked list are less than the number of slots so we will be making the hash table in such a way so you can say whenever there is a collision you can say that the linked list was consist uh, consisting a cycle in it so this is using hash table and time complexity will be order of n let's say that you have answered this one also now they will they will again level up so let's say now the next question here could be what is the best algorithm to find a cycle in the linked list now you should know this the best algorithm is floyd cycle algorithm it is also based on Tortoise and rabbit theory. So what we do in this is, let's try to solve this using Floyd algorithm. Now let's say that this is a head or we will write it as H. Now what Floyd, uh, Floyd says is, put two pointers here put two pointers here. one is slow pointer we will denote it with s and one is fast pointer which is equal to s so s will be equal to head and f will be equal to head now the fast pointer will move two steps at a time like a rabbit and the slow pointer will move one step at a time like like a tortoise so let's move this so fast will go on each step fast will go fast dot next dot next and slow pointer will go like slow dot next and you will keep on doing this while fast address is not equal to slow address whenever the uh, if the fast and slow pointer meets at some point then you can say there was a cycle how can you say that there was a cycle let's say that there is a cycle there is a track and one boy is running at the speed of 20 kilometers per hour and there is a girl 
हु इज रनिंग एट द स्पीड ऑफ फिफ्टीन किलोमीटर पर आर नाउ वेन गर्ल विल रन विद द स्पीड ऑफ फिफ्टीन किलोमीटर पर आर एंड बॉय इज रनिंग विद द स्पीड ऑफ ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर पर आर एट सम पॉइंट बॉय विल ओवरटेक द गर्ल एंड वेन एवर बॉय विल ओवरटेक द गर्ल देर द पोजिशन ऑफ बोथ द बॉय एंड द गर्ल विल बी सेम एंड सिमिलर सिमिलर सिमिलरली इन दिस वेन द फास्ट पॉइंटर क्रॉसिस the slow pointer let's say that there is no cycle if there is no cycle fast pointer will reach the end of the link list where there is null and the link list will be over because it is uh, moving at the faster speed it will uh, reach before the slow pointer but if there is a cycle it will overtake the slow pointer at some point so this is the concept behind it so slow pointer fast pointer so at first step slow pointer will move one step and fast pointer will move two steps after that slow pointer now again the addresses are not same so slow pointer will move one step and fast pointer will move two steps after that slow pointer again one step fast pointer one two steps again slow pointer one step and fast pointer one two steps at the next step slow pointer will be here and fast pointer will also be here so this way you can say that there was a cycle present in this and is it is the best algorithm to find the cycle in the link list with order of n time complexity and there are no such constraints like uh, there were in hash table that you need to make the hash table big or you can say the addresses must be in that type that uh, it does not give uh, the collision if uh, cycle is not there so there were many constraints in that but there is no constraint here it is the best algorithm for this one now let's say that you answer this one also now they will again they can all uh, they can again level up up to some extent find the start of the loop now the on you have only <clears throat> you have only uh, the uh, starting address of the loop uh, sorry starting address of the link list and you don't have uh, how uh, you don't have the length of the link list with you so you have to find the start of the loop now they are checking your level they are checking the um, uh, the level of your knowledge so at some point there is bound to be a chance that you do, you will not know the answer so that's not a negative thing if you don't know the answer don't bluff it just say that you don't know the answer and they will know that uh, the level of knowledge you have is uh, this amount only but if you try to bluff there this will go uh, this will uh, put a bad impact on your on your case because you are uh, because nothing is worse in in uh, in the interview than lying so you have answered each and every question they have asked what uh, what is the point if you don't answer one question they are not <clears throat> if you don't answer one question it will not ruin your interview they are not there Uh, uh, to give you questions so that you can answer all the questions there there will be questions which you will not be able to answer and that is not a big deal but don't lie in the interview just say that you don't know the answer it's as simple as that so let's say that they ask you find the start of the loop now if you uh, you can try this but if you don't if you are not able to find the answer just say that you don't know the answer nothing further they will move on to some other concept and then again they will grind you in this in that so but we we should uh, try to solve this one so in order to solve this one let's say what uh, let's see what we can do so you have to find the start of the loop now again the concept used to solve this problem is an extension of floyd algorithm what we do here is let's make a link list first how we are able to, how we will be solving it, solving that let's say that this is the link list that you are taking now first of all what we will do is the first thing that we will do in this is first we will assign some pointers now let's say that you know the starting address or we can say head thus in this the slow pointer will be addressed to the slow pointer will be equal to head dot next so slow pointer will be here 
and fast pointer will be equal to slow dot next like at the next one and then again you will run the floyd uh, floyd algorithm for to, uh, to find the cycle so what you will do is this will move with uh, uh, with uh, uh, by taking one step at the, at a time and this will move by taking two steps at a time so at first step it will be here and after two steps it will be f will be here again s here and 1 to f will be here now f will be here and 1 to f will be here again f will be here and f will be here after that at the last point s will come here and f will come here and you will mark this with now you have the address of this node stored in the f now what you will do is what you will do in this is you will assign this slow pointer to the point where you initially uh, we are, sorry to the start of the linked list you will you will do what you will assign one of the pointer to the start of the linked list so let's say that we have assigned f to this so we will assign at the next step s to the head so again s will not be pointing here s will be pointing here at this point and f will be pointing here this at this point now what this algorithm does is you will move f by one step and you will move f by one step also you will keep on moving them one by one and the point where they meet will be the starting of the loop so when you move f by one and f by one at the next step again s you move s by one step and f by one step so it will come here again you will move s by one step and again they will be equal so the checking condition for this will be while s is not equal to f while s is not equal to f you will keep on doing what s is equal to s dot next and f is equal to f dot next you will keep on increasing uh, you will keep on uh, moving the pointer forward so what the concept is if you do this like you take, uh, take s uh, you take the slow pointer one point from the head and you take the uh, fast pointer two points from the head and you find the uh, you apply the floyd algorithm the point where they meet will be at equal distance so the start of the loop will be at equal distance from the point where they meet and the point where the starting of the link list is so this is how you find the starting of the loop so uh, uh, so if you don't know the answer to these type of question uh, uh, in the interview just say that you don't know the answer because you have answered pl pl plenty of their questions so if you don't answer one question that's not a big deal but don't try to bluff there don't try uh, don't lie to them that uh, uh, you know just uh, putting their ideas like uh, putting their ideas uh, that are not uh, compatible to these type of questions so just try if you don't know just say that you don't know the answer don't try to bluff them so uh, this is all in this uh, this is all from my side in this uh, video so i hope you understood how the interview uh, interviewer will uh, conduct the interview and i hope you would be able to tackle those questions uh, in that situation so i uh, so keep preparing and keep learning and all the best for your interview thank you